Um, it took 12 and a half years to write. I was working every day, basically every day. I would write with a stopwatch. With my goal was to sit there for five hours. Because that way I felt like at least I would be working. I produced about 7,000 pages. There were two things going on that made it difficult to write. One was that it was just hard to understand my own family clearly. It was such a complicated thing, uh, all the things that occurred. It was hard to come up with a, a consistent viewpoint that would work as fiction. And then the other was that technique-wise, what I knew to do, what I knew, uh, what I had been able to do successfully before was inappropriate for this content, for this subject matter. And it was developing the new style that, de- that took so long. One thing that um, I'm writing a short story. In the short story, there's a, I have two paragraphs. The I don't I didn't so it's these two paragraphs deal with uh, the day after a wedding. The first paragraph is you know the day after the wedding had the drama that the day after a wedding usually does. Uh, there were problems of dowry. The the father of the bride had had tried to save money and had and owned half a ton of teak, and so it had furniture made instead of um, instead of giving cash, which would have been preferred because the bride and bridegroom would be moving abroad, and so for them cash would be more useful than having furniture. So that's the first paragraph, and then the second paragraph is the bridegroom's father and the the bride's father go out onto a balcony and that's the second paragraph but not much occurs there's a little bit of a discussion but not much occurs and so it doesn't need its own paragraph it makes it too important and actually having the first subject matter the first thing about the issue having it giving its own paragraph makes it too important so i needed to figure out some way to to diminish the importance of these two things one way would be simply to combine the two paragraphs. I that if you do that, the problem is that, they, that there's a weird transition inside of the paragraph, which sounds funny. So what I did was I had a listing. You know, so the furniture gets delivered, the furniture that has been made as part of the dowry. So and the listing is you know the a table, a sofa, an armoire are delivered. Right, and when you have three items, three a list of three items. Normally, we view it; the reader views it as merely descriptive, and doesn't pay it that much more attention. Doesn't pay it that much attention. What I did in this paragraph is I put in four items: so a table, an armoire, a sofa, a chairs, and that becomes a bit boring. And then I could bring the second paragraph up, combine the two paragraphs. So because of the boredom, the reader is paying a little bit less attention. And so I could put in this other paragraph because the attention has been diminished. So that level of technical attention to details is something that a writer would notice, but not a reader. For me, the fact that things are beautiful and the fact that things are ugly they need to exist together that there's no discrepancy between that you know the you know to, if i were to deny the ugliness in life it would be in to some extent saying that this part of life cannot be looked at or i cannot be happy when things are going badly right that there's a, a philosophical world view in that and so I have a sentence such as, um, you know, the beginning of the novel, this man is brushing his teeth and uh, the sky above him is full of stars. And when he spits, he spits blood because he brushes it, his mouth so roughly, his gums so roughly. And so having sentences like that or uh, this mother and daughter are preparing simi for simi kick here. Uh, so she's preparing simi and so they're taking the dough and they're rubbing it and creating the little thread of dough and then clip and breaking it off 
and so the seamy as it dries looks like nail clippings and so to have these things next to each other there's nothing wrong with that you know there's a there's something wonderful about the humanness of beautiful things and ugly things existing next to each other there's something wonderful about that and it's a way of making the world uh more lovely and more more parts of it become worth occupying if you do things like that i don't know if i draw it from there but i think other writers are similar like i think chakov is that way and dostoevsky is that way to some extent tolstoy but to a lesser extent but certainly chakov and dostoevsky are both very comic writers but mostly what it is is that if you tell the truth we are funny people you know human beings are very funny people like um when i read a menu i often times read from right to left so i look at the prices first and then i read across to what exactly the item is you know these sort of things this is very human and there's nothing wrong with that and so representing the truth of human beings is is to some extent funny but is to some extent tragic the fact that you know it's sort of tragic that we have one life and we spend so much of it we waste so much of it worried uh and so there's tragedy in it and then there's of course the the comedy of the dopiness of worrying about things like this so it's that it's that's where it comes from I'm working on a collection of short stories. I hope that'll get done soon. Um the and I'm the collection right now is titled Cosmopolitan both because the characters are cosmopolitan. You know, they're Indians. They're either Indians in America, India or Indians in America. And so that sense of the world is being cosmopolitan. And then between the stories are essays about the writing of these things.